Alright, recently acquired a e-machine. Um, it's having issues booting up, so let's see what it is. Alright, it's asking me if I want to boot into Windows 7 or an earlier, an earlier version, so we'll just boot normally. Um, it's asking me if I want to launch a startup repair or Windows Normal. Do Windows Normal. Alright, looks like it's booting. Well, what just happened? So it's resetting itself. Alright, we'll start Windows 7. We'll do the launch startup repair, like what it recommends. Oh, the blue screen of death. So, a lot of people will think that since it wants to start in Windows, but doesn't make it to Windows itself, that uh, you just gotta reinstall the operating system, but in this case, I found one of the memory sticks is bad. Oh, got two memory sticks in there. Now let's take one out and see what it does. Now when you replace memory, you'll wanna make sure to unplug it. Touch something that's grounded so that you don't have any static electricity build up on yourself and uh, unplug it if you have a light in there on the motherboard it'll show you whether or not there's still power to the RAM but this one doesn't have that light um, anyway I found that the RAM chip that was uh, closest to the processor was bad let's take it out and see what happens Plug it back in. Now if you do have two memory sticks, you gotta make sure that the one that you leave in there um, is in the correct port, because if it's not, the machine won't even turn on the video, but this one is in the correct port, so let's try to start up Windows 7. We'll go ahead and launch the startup repair. Hey, there it goes. Yay, we fixed it. Now, something else I noticed when I was <clears throat> troubleshooting this one. Um, back there, next to the processor, you got a line of capacitors. That top one there is starting to bulge. Uh, they shouldn't be bulging, so I will have to take this uh, motherboard out and replace that top capacitor. I don't know if I can get a good shot. Yeah, you can see that top one just isn't flat. It's sticking up. You know, the top of it's pushing out. And uh, that will eventually cause the motherboard to crash. So it's highly recommended to change all the capacitors that are the same, same brand of value. Since one of them's going bad, the rest of them are probably going to start going bad.
So I'll have to take that out and replace it. But looks like uh, looks like it's booting up normal. Just got to go through some Windows uh, recommendations, and then we'll be running again.